Dyson V15 Detect. User Manual. Top view of the Dyson V15 Detect. Machine, showing cleaner head. Wand, bin and main body. Contents washing your laser slim fluffy trademark symbol brush. In the box bar. Getting started clearing obstructions from your high. The LCD screen talk cleaner head with anti-tangle. Charging your machine comb. Changing your click-in battery cleaning your tools. Caring for your floors clearing blockages from your hair screw. Emptying your bin tool. Cleaning your bin looking after your machine. Washing your filter. Clearing blockages. In the box. Your machine will come with one or more of these cleaner heads. Not all will be included. Vacuum cleaner with click-in laser slim fluffy trademark symbol cleaner head high torque cleaner head with anti-tangle comb. Battery a precisely angled laser mix Dyson DLS trademark symbol technology monitors brush bar resistance. Invisible dust visible on hard and adapts power across different floor types. Floors. Polycarbonate teeth prevent tangling around the bristles. Additional click-in battery. Want charge a wall dock? Charges your vacuum with your Dyson vacuum drops into the or without a dock. Wall mounted charging dock, ready. For your next clean. Some tools may not be included. You can buy additional tools at www.dyson.com. Combination tool crevice tool extension hose hair screw tool low reach adapter light pipe crevice tool. Two tools in one wide engineered for precise adds up to 61 cm of anti-tangle conical bends to comfortably crevice tool with lead. Nozzle and brush, cleaning around flexible reach to any brush bar spirals hair reach down low. Lights lets you reach. For quick switching tricky edges and into tool attachment, to off and into the bin, engineered to clean into dark, narrow. Between cleaning and hard to reach narrow clean up high or down motor driven cleaning further under low spaces and see where. Dusting tasks around spaces. Low in your home or for smaller spaces. Furniture by adjusting your cleaning. Your home or car. Car. The wand angle up to 90 degrees. Soft dusting brush stub and dirt brush up top adapter mattress tool wand clip. Enclosed in a skirt stiff nylon bristles twists into different removes dust, dirt clips to your vacuums. Of soft nylon bristles dislodge ground in dirt positions and angles and allergens from wand to hold tools. For gentle, vacuum from coarse carpets, for easy high reach mattresses and Assisted dusting of high traffic areas and cleaning. Upholstery. Delicate objects and car interiors. Surfaces. Getting started. Location of the selection button. On the screen on the filter end. Of the machine. Power modes. Your machine has three power modes for. Different tasks. Change power modes quickly. Using a single button. The screen showing the machine set to diagram showing the connection of Eco mode with a full battery in green the wand onto the main body, with To show that this will give the longest the wand release button aligned Eco auto mode Battery life of the three modes Boost with the top of the main body Eco mode Maximum runtime for longer cleans all Around your home, 100% Auto. Two screens showing the machine. Eco. Set to auto mode and mid mode. With a blue battery showing that this. Will give a medium length of battery. Po auto. Auto mid. Med boost. Boost. Life. Auto and mid mode. The optimum balance of power and run time. 5%. Attach your cleaner head or hair screw tool to Activate auto mode Suction power automatically Adapts to dust levels Percent English 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 the screen showing the machine set To boost mode with a red battery to Espanol show that this will give the shortest 
Boost battery life of the three modes. Boost low. Mode. Low. Runtime. Runtime. Designed for intensive spot cleaning. Of ground in dirt 450. 450 Auto. Auto Etina. Eco arrow showing the end. Of the wand connecting. To the. On clean ahead. On. Should turn your laser on and off. English. English English. English. Off. Off. Turn your laser on or off with the slider selected. Selected. Down. Null exit. Exit. Switch on your cleaner head, the screen, on the end of the Class 1 laser product safe. For pets and humans. Avoid. Main body, showing a graph of. Looking directly into the, the sizing and counting of the beam. Dust particles. Measures microscopic dust particles. A Pieto sensor continuously sizes. And counts dust particles at the inlet. English. Attach your cleaner head or hair. Screw tool and use in auto mode to Automatically increase suction power. When needed. The LCD screen. The LCD screen shows your particle count information and performance. Eco. And blockage information. Automed. Including the cleaning mode selected, remaining runtime, filter maintenance. Boost. Eco Automed. Eco Automed. Settings menu 100% 100%. Control the settings on your machine using the button. To enter the settings menu, press and hold the button until the menu screen appears. Tap to scroll through the options available, the selection button. On the screen being Particle count and graph pressed. Select to turn the measuring and counting of particles on and off. Turn off the measuring and counting of particles to stop your machine automatically. Adjusting suction power and turn off the graph. 100%. Low carpets will continue, when. Automatic adjustment between hard floors and low. Using the high torque cleaner head. Runtime runtime. Adjust reactive suction power sensitivity. 450. Use the selection button to change how sensitive the particle count is. This Auto 450 will change how your machine automatically reacts to the dust particles. For more information and support for your machine, go online www.dyson.com support low runtime change language to change the language on your screen, press the button and hold until the language list appears. Release the button. 450. On. Tap the button English English. To scroll through the language list to your preferred language. Off. English English. English. Press and hold the button until the countdown ends. Selected. Espanol exit Espanol. A green tick will appear on the screen to show your language selection is complete. Two screens, the first with. To cancel your selection, release the button during the countdown. The language list and then. The tick screen to show that. English English. The language has been. Successfully changed. Espanol. Change alert settings. You can turn the alert motor pulse off. Your motor will no longer pulse but. Runtime alert information will continue to be displayed on the LCD screen. When your machine needs your attention. Turning off alerts will not turn off the blockage alert pulsing. This is to ensure. You clear any blockages, preventing damage to your machine. Tap to scroll through the settings menu. Select the alerts option. The screen with an scroll to select on or off. Hold the button until the countdown ends and a tick amber warning appears on the screen. 
To cancel your selection, release the button during triangle to demon. The countdown straight and alert. Low. Runtime. Runtime countdown. When the battery needs charging, your machine will pulse three times and a 450 auto. Low runtime icon will appear on the screen. Low low. When your battery is empty, a red warning icon will appear on the screen. Runtime runtime. When particle count and graph is turned on, low runtime will be in amber. 450 auto. And red when in boost mode, the screen with a red screen with an icon. On. English time remaining. Battery English with a plug being on. Shown is a number and connected to the power sup off. As a half filled battery. Ply. This demonstrates exit. Espinol the battery is empty and. Needs charging. On. English 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 English. English. Off. Select. Espinol exit Espinol. Battery health. To get the best performance and life from your battery, use Eco or Auto Med mode. The battery health is shown on the batter, i.e. on the screen. Alerts. The alerts you might see are alert icon with fully alert icon with filter. The filter isn't fitted correctly or needs cleaning. Charge before first airway is blocked. Use wording. Wording. Blockage your machine has a blockage that needs removing. Alert icon with filter alert icon with filter. Not sealed wording. Needs cleaning. Wording. Exit settings menu. Screen with exit. Menu wording and. Return icon. Charging your machine the charger connected from. The power supply using the. Wall dock. It's important to fully charge your new machine before using it for the first time, and after every clean. This is because the battery and monitoring system's algorithm learns over time, and fully charging your machine helps it to more accurately calculate and display remaining runtime. Connect a charger either directly or in the dock. The blue LEDs on either side of the battery will flash during charging. When the battery is fully charged, both LEDs will light for 5 seconds. Your battery is fully charged when the display shows 100%. Your machine won't operate or charge if the ambient temperature is below. 5 degrees C, 41 degrees Fahrenheit. This is designed to protect both the motor and battery. The charger connected from the power supply directly into the front of the battery. Changing your click-in battery. If you have additional click-in batteries, we recommend that you alternate arrows showing the location of the battery release button. The batteries to maintain even performance. And the battery coming off the handle when the button is pressed. The battery is then shown being replaced on the base of the handle, clicking into place. Removing your battery. Push the battery release button on the handle and slide the battery off. Your machine. Charge the battery. Refitting your battery. Align your battery with the handle and slide it in. Push firmly until it clicks. Into place. Caring for your floors. Check that the underside of the cleaner head or tool is clean and free from any objects that may cause damage. Before vacuuming your flooring, rugs, and carpets, check the manufacturer's recommended cleaning instructions. The brush bar on your machine can damage certain carpet types and floors. Some carpets will fuzz if a rotating brush bar is used when vacuuming. If this happens, we recommend vacuuming without the motorized floor tool and consulting with your flooring manufacturer. Emptying your bin. Empty as soon as the dirt reaches the max level, don't overfill. Using your machine when the dirt is above the max line may affect the performance the max mark on the bin of and require more frequent filter washing. The machine, showing that the dirt should not be filled. Overfilling your bin could result in inaccurate readings on the particle graph. 
over the max mark when the machine is at the angle of normal use. Remove your wand. Press the red wand release button on the top of the wand and pull the wand away from the bin. Illustration of the bin being emptied into a bag with imag. ES demonstrating to take care not to press the trigger when emptying the bin. Release the dirt. Hold the machine over the bin, pointing downwards. Firmly push the red bin release button. The bin will slide down, cleaning the shroud as it goes, and the bin base will open. The bin base won't open if the red bin release button isn't pushed down all the way. Minimize dust contact. Cover your bin tightly in a dustproof bag while you empty. Remove the bin. Carefully, seal the bag tightly and dispose. The bin lid closing with an audible. Close your bin click and the bin being pushed up. Wards with another click once it is fully. Push the bin base upwards until the bin and bin base click into place. In place. Cleaning your bin. The bin being removed and the. Location of the bin release lever on. The underside of the bin runner. Remove your bin. If it is necessary to clean your bin, empty it as shown in the emptying your bin section. Press the red button located on the bin runner to release the bin and slide your bin off the runner. Only clean your bin with a damp cloth. Make sure that the bin and seals are completely dry before replacing. The bin being pushed back. Into position on the bin. Refit your bin. Runner. Insert the spine on to the bin runner. Close your bin by pushing the bin base upwards until the bin and bin base click into place. Your bin isn't dishwasher safe and the use of detergents, polishes or air fresheners to clean. Your bin isn't recommended, as it may damage your machine. Clearing blockages. Disconnect your machine from the charger before looking for blockages. Be careful not to touch the trigger and be aware of sharp objects. With the bin removed. Leave your machine to cool down before looking for blockages. Check for blockages, paying. Particular attention to the air. Don't use your machine when looking for blockages as this could cause inlet, located at on the right. Injury. Hand side of the machine just. Below the point where the bin. Joins the main body of the. If your machine detects a blockage, the motor will pulse and you won't be machine able to use your machine until the blockage has been cleared. If you try to use your machine when the motor is pulsing, it will automatically cut out. Check the main body. Remove the bin and check for blockages in the main body of your machine. Make sure any blockages are completely cleared and all parts are fitted before using your machine. With the wand. Check the wand and cleaner head removed from the Check the wand for blockages. Machine, check for blockages at both ends. Check your cleaner head for blockages, following the instructions to remove of the wand. The brush bar, where necessary. Re-assemble your machine. Refit all parts securely before using your machine. Clearing blockages isn't covered by your guarantee. Turn the cleaner head over. To check for obstructions on the brush bar and air inlet. Washing your filter. Wash your filter at least once a month to maintain optimum suction power. For more information and support for your machine go online, www.dyson.com slash support. Important, your filter must be completely dry before you put it back into the machine. Your machine could be damaged if used with a damp filter. Twist off your filter. Twist your filter anti-clockwise and pull it away from your machine. The filter is located at the rear of your machine. Tap your filter. Before washing your filter, tap it gently over a bin to remove any loose dust and debris. Holding the filter by the hard plastic end, tap the other end over the bin. Wash your filter. Wash with warm, running tap water, gently rubbing your filter with your fingers to remove the dirt.
filter held in upright position with the wider end in the palm. Fill and shake of a hand. Water running from. Place your hand over one end of your filter. Filter with hand over. A tap into the narrower end. The open end with. Fill the filter with warm tap water. Arrows showing a. Shaking motion. Place your hand over the open end of the filter and shake it firmly to remove. Trapped dirt and debris. A hand holding the filter with the narrow end. Pointing downwards with droplets of water. Being shaken from the filter and again with the and pointing downwards shaking water out. Shake out the water. Empty the filter and shake firmly to remove excess water. Shake with the filter in both an upward and downward position. Keep shaking until there's no water coming from the filter. Dry your filter. Leave your filter to dry for at least 24 hours in a well-ventilated, warm place. Don't dry your filter in a tumble dryer, microwave, or near a naked flame. Important, your filter must be completely dry before you put it back into the machine. Your machine could be damaged if used with a damp filter. The filter is left to dry with. The pleated filter and facing. Upwards. Washing your Laser Slim Fluffy Trademark Brush Bar. Your Laser Slim Fluffy Trademark Cleaner Head has a washable brush bar. To maintain. Optimum performance, check and wash your brush bar regularly. Make sure your machine is disconnected from the charger and take care not to touch the trigger. 1. The end cap is located at the side. 1. Of the cleaner head. Push this upwards to 2. Unlock the brush bar. Don't wash the end cap. Remove your brush bar too. Don't put any part of your machine in a dishwasher or use detergents, polishes, or air fresheners. Press the cleaner head release button on the end of the wand. Place the cleaner head upside down. Push the end cap up fully and pull the brush bar out of the cleaner head. The brush bar and open end and a closed end stand upright with the wash and dry your brush bar closed end facing hold your brush bar under running water and gently rub to remove any lint upwards to dry or dirt stand your brush bar upright as shown leave to dry completely for at least 24 hours 3 3 replace your brush bar 2 1 before replacing, check that your brush bar is completely dry. The end cap should reattach the end cap to your brush bar. Be attached to the 2 1 cleaner head at an slide your brush bar into the cleaner head. Push the end cap back down to angle less than 90 degrees. The closed position. Any angle greater. Then this will not allow the end cap to close. Cleaning your laser lens. To maintain optimum performance, keep your laser lens clean. Only clean. The lens when the cleaner head is not attached to your machine. Use a soft, dry, lint-free cloth to wipe the lens. Clearing obstructions from your high torque. Cleaner head with anti-tangle comb. Your high torque cleaner head with anti-tangle comb doesn't have a Washable brush bar. To maintain optimum performance, check your brush bar regularly and clear any obstructions. Make sure your machine is disconnected from the charger and take care not to touch the trigger. The lock located on the side of the cleaner head is rotated 90. Remove your brush bar degree to release the end cap and the don't put any part of your machine in a dishwasher or use detergents, polishes brush bar can be removed. Or air fresheners. Press the cleaner head release button on the end of the wand. Place the cleaner head upside down. Use a coin to unlock the end cap. Twist the end cap and remove it from your brush bar. Don't wash the end cap. 
Slide your brush bar out of the cleaner head. Look for obstructions. Clear any debris from your brush bar. Check inside the cleaner head and remove any debris or blockages. Your high torque cleaner head and brush bar aren't washable. Wipe over with a damp lint-free cloth. Don't put any part of your machine in a dishwasher or use detergents, polishes or air fresheners. Remove any hair or fibers that have been wrapped around the brush bar. Replace your brush bar. Push the end cap back onto your brush bar and slide it back into the cleaner. Head. Turn the end cap into the locked position. Your cleaner head isn't washable and should only be wiped over with a damp, lint-free cloth. The removal of the brush bars. Showing the lock in a horizontal position and the unlock symbol. At 90 degrees anti-clockwise and lock. Symbol at 90 degrees clockwise. Cleaning your tools. Don't put any part of your machine in a dishwasher or use detergents, polishes or air fresheners. Wipe with a damp, lint-free cloth without touching the connector end. Make sure your tools are completely dry before using. Combination Tool Crevice Tool Extension Hose Light Pipe Crevice Tool Low Reach Adapter Soft Dusting Brush Stubborn Dirt Brush Up Top Adapter Mattress Tool Clearing Blockages From Your Hair Screw Tool Your hair screw tool doesn't have a washable brush bar. To maintain optimum performance, check your brush bar regularly and clear any obstructions. Make sure your machine is disconnected from the charger and take care not to touch the trigger. The curved locking lever located on the back of the tool. Remove the cover and brush bar. Remove the hair screw tool from the wand or machine. Push the base plate open. Press the red lever down to release the cleaner. Head cover. Pull the cleaner head cover off the main body of the tool. Remove any hair or fibers that have been wrapped around the brush bar. Look for obstructions. Pull your brush bar firmly to remove it from the main body. Check and remove any obstructions from all three parts of your hair. Screw tool. Your hair screw tool isn't washable. Wipe over with a damp lint-free cloth. Don't put any part of your machine in a dishwasher or use detergents, polishes or air fresheners. Reassemble hair screw tool. Put your brush bar back into position and press firmly until it clicks back into position. Check the red locking lever is in the unlocked position. Align the cleaner head cover with the guide on the main body. Push it down until it clicks into position. Push the red locking lever up until it clicks into position and push the base plate back into place. Looking after your machine. To always get the best performance from your machine, it's important to clean it regularly and check for blockages. Look after your machine. If your machine is dusty, wipe with a damp lint-free cloth. Check for blockages in the cleaner head, tools and main body of your machine. Wash your filter regularly and leave to dry completely. Don't use detergents or polishes to clean your machine. Look after your battery. To get the best performance and life from your battery, use Echo or Auto Slash Med mode. Your machine won't operate or charge if the ambient temperature is below 5 degrees C, 41 degrees Fahrenheit. This is designed to protect both the motor and battery. Your serial numbers. You can find your serial numbers on your machine, battery and charger. Use your serial number to register. For more information and support for your machine go online. www.dyson.com slash support. This manual was converted into audio so that it is accessible. Though it is a word-for-word -word copy of the manual converted to audio and read by AI the ideas presented do not represent the company. This isn't official. Please don't litigate me for making your manual more accessible to the disabled. For more please subscribe. Feel free to comment manuals you